Lysistrated. By Aristophanes 410 BC. This document is in the public domain. Anonymous translator. Characters in the play. Lysistrata Cleonus Nerfin Lampinto Magistrate Synesius Child of Synesius Herald of the Lacedaemonians Envoys of the Lacedaemonians and Athenian Citizen Chorus of Old Men Chorus of Women. Scene, at the base of the orchestra are two buildings the house of Lysistrata and the entrance to the Acropolis a winding and narrow path leads up to the ladder between the two buildings is the opening of the cave of Pan Lysistrata is pacing up and down in front of her house. Lysistrata thought, if only they had been invited to a Bacchic reveling or a feast of Pan or Aphrodite or Genitalis. Why the streets would have been impassable for the frowning tambourines now there is never a woman here on, uh, except my neighbor Cleonus whom I see approaching yonder good day Cleonus. Cleonus good day Lysistra but pray, why this dark forbidding face my dear believe me you don't you look a bit pretty with those black lowering brows. Lysistra oh Cleonus my heart is on fire I blush. For our sex men will have it we are tricky and sly. Cleonis and they are quite right upon my word. Lysistra yet look you, when the women are summoned to meet for a matter of the greatest importance they lie in bed instead of coming. Cleonis so oh, they will come my dear but it is not easy you know for women to leave the house one is busy pottering about her husband another is getting the servant up a third is putting her child asleep or washing the bread or feeding it. Lysistra but I tell you the business that calls them here is far and away more urgent. Cleonis and why do you summon us dear Lysistra what is it all about? Lysistra about a big thing. Cleonis wearily and is it thick too? Lysistra yes very thick. Cleonis and we are not all on the spot imagine. Lysistra wearily oh, if it were a lot you suppose there would be never an absentee no no it concerns a thing I have turned about and about this way and that so many sleepless nights. Cleonis still unable to be serious it must be something mighty fine and subtle. For you to have turned it about so. Lysistra is so fine it means just this grease saved by the women. Cleonis by the women why its salvation hangs on a poor thread then. Lysistra our country as fortunes depend on us it is with us to undo utterly the Peloponnesians. Cleonis that would be a noble deed truly. Lysistra to exterminate the Boeotians to a man. Cleonis but surely you would spare the eels. Lysistra for Athens sake I will never threaten so fell a doom trust me for that however, if the Boeotian and Peloponnesian women join us Greece is saved. Cleonis but how should women perform so wise and glorious an achievement we women who dwell in the retirement of the household clad in diaphanous garments of yellow silk and long flowing gowns decked out with flowers and shod with dainty little slippers. Lysistra ah but those are the very sheet anchors of our salvation those yellow tunics those scents and slippers those cosmetics and transparent robes. Cleonis how so pray. Lysistra there is not a man will wield a lance against another. Cleonis quick I will get me a yellow tunic from the dire S. Lysistra or want a shield. Cleonis I L L run and put on a flowing gown. Lysistra or draw a sword. Cleonis I L L haste and buy a pair of slippers this instant. Lysistra now tell me would not the women have done best to come. Cleonis, why they should have flown here. Lysistra, ah oh my dear you, LLC, that like true Athenians they will do everything too late why there is not a woman come from the shore not one from Salamis. Cleonis, but I know for certain they embarked at daybreak. Lysistra and the dames from Acharni, why I thought they would have been the very first to arrive. 
Leonis the Jean's wife at any rate is sure to come she has actually been to consult Hecate but look here are some arrivals and there are more behind dot ha now what country women may they be? Lysistra they are from Imagera. Leonis yes upon my word tis a levy and mass of all the female population of Imagera near he enters followed by other women. Near he nor we lay Lysistra to tell us pray what not a word. Lysistra I cannot say much, for you mere he you have not bestirred yourself over much for an affair of such urgency. Near he I could not find my girdle in the dark however, if the matter is so pressing here we are so speak. Cleonis no let us wait a moment more till the women of Boeotia arrive and those from the Peloponnese. Lysistra yes that is best off oh, here comes Lampinto Lampinto a husky Spartan damsel enters with three others two from Boeotia and one from Corinth good day Lampinto dear friend from Lacedaemon how well and handsome you look what a rosy complexion and how strong you seem why you could strangle a bull surely Lampinto yes indeed I really think I could it s because I do gymnastics and practice the bottom kicking dance Cleonis opening Lampinto's robe and bearing her bosom and what superb breasts. Lampinto law you are feeling me, as if I were a beast for sacrifice. Lysistra and this young woman, where is she from? Lampinto she is a noble lady from Boeotia. Lysistra ah my pretty Boeotian friend you are as blooming as a garden. Leonis making another inspection yes on my word and her garden is so thoroughly weeded too. Lysistra pointing to the Corinthian and who is this? Lampinto tis an honest woman by my faith she comes from Corinth. Cleonis so honest no doubt then as honest he goes at Corinth. Lampinto but who has called together this council of women pray? Lysistra I have. Lampinto well then tell us what you want of us. Cleonis yes please tell us what is this very important business you wish to inform us about. Lysistra I will tell you but first answer me one question. Cleonis anything you wish. Lysistra don't you feel sad and sorry because the fathers of your children are far away from you with the army. For I l l wager there is not one of you whose husband is not abroad at this moment. Cleonis mine has been the last five months in Thrace looking after you Cretes. Mere he has seven long months since mine left for Pylos. Lampinto, as for mine, if he ever does return from service he has no sooner home than he takes down his shield again and flies back to the wars. Lysistra and not so much, as the shadow of a lover since the day the Milesians betrayed us I have never once seen an eight inch gadget even to be a leaf for consolation to us poor widows now tell me, if I have discovered a means of ending the war will you all second me? Cleonis yes verily by all the goddesses I swear I will, though I have to put my gown in pawn and drink the money the same day. Mirheen and so will I, though I must be split into like a flat fish and have half myself removed. Lampinto and I too I to secure peace I would climb to the top of Mount Aegis. Lysistra then I will out with it at last my mighty sacred oh sister women, if we would compel our husbands to make peace we must refrain. Cleonis refrain from what tell us tell us. Lysistra but will you do it? Mirheen we will we will, though we should die of it. Lysistra we must refrain from the male altogether nay why do you turn your backs on me where are you going so you bite your lips and shake your heads eh why these pale sad looks, why these tears come will you do it yes or no do you hesitate. Cleonis I will not do it let the war go on. Mirheen nor will I let the war go on. Lysistra to Mirheen and you say this my pretty flatfish who declare just now they might split you in two. Cleonis anything anything but that bid me go through the fire, if you will, but to rob us of the sweetest thing in all the world Lysistra darling. Lysistra to Mirheen and you. 
Mirapin, yes, I agree with the others. I too would sooner go through the fire. Le sister had a wand ambitious sex. The poets have done well to make tragedies upon us. We are good for nothing then but love and lewdness. But you, my dear, you from hearty Sparta. If you join me, all may yet be well. Help me, second me, I beg you. Lampito, tis a hard thing by the two goddesses it is for a woman to sleep alone without ever a strong male in her bed but their peace must come first. Lysistra, oh my darling, my dearest best friend, you are the only one deserving the name of woman. Cleonis, but if which the gods forbid we do refrain altogether from what you say should we get peace any sooner. Lysistra, of course we should by the goddesses twain we need only sit indoors with painted cheeks and meet our mates lightly clad in transparent gowns of amorphous silk and perfectly depilated they will get their tools up and be wild to lie with us that will be the time to refuse and they will hasten to make peace I am convinced of that. Lampito, yes, just as Menelaus. When he saw Helen as naked bosom threw away his sword they say. Cleonis but oh dear, suppose our husbands go away and leave us. Lysistra then, as Veracruz says we must flay a skinned dog that ass all. Cleonis fiddlesticks these proverbs are all idle talk, but if our husbands drag us my main force into the bedchamber. Lysistra to hold on to the door posts. Cleonis. But if they beat us, Lysistra then yield to their wishes but with a bad grace there is no pleasure in it for them. When they do it by force besides there are a thousand ways of tormenting them never fear they l l soon tire of the game there is no satisfaction for a man unless the woman shares it. Cleonis very well, if you must have it so we agree. Lampito for ourselves no doubt we shall persuade our husbands to conclude a fair and honest peace but there is the Athenian populace how are we to cure these folk of their warlike frenzy? Lysistra to have no fear we undertake to make our own people listen to reason. Lampito that is impossible so long as they have their trusty ships and the vast treasures stored in the temple of Athene. Lysistra at all but we have seen to that this very day the Acropolis will be in our hands that is the task assigned to the older women, while we are here in council they are going under pretense of offering sacrifice to seize the citadel. Lampito well said indeed everything is going for the best. Lysistra to come quick Lampito and let us bind ourselves by an inviolable oath. Lampito recite the terms we will swear to them. Lysistra the with pleasure, where is our Scythian police woman now? What are you staring at? Pray lay this shield on the earth before us its hollow upwards and someone bring me the victimess inwards. Cleonis Lysistra to say what oath are we to swear? Lysistra to what oath why in Aeschylus they sacrifice a sheep and swear over a buckler we will do the same. Cleonis no Lysistra to one cannot swear peace over a buckler surely. Lysistra to what other oath do you prefer? Cleonis let us take a white horse and sacrifice it and swear on its entrails. Lysistra but where shall we get a white horse? Cleonis well what oath shall we take then? Lysistra to listen to me let us set a great black bowl on the ground let us sacrifice a skin of Asian wine into it and take oath not to add one single drop of water. Lampito all that as an oath pleases me more than I can say. Lysistra to let them bring me a bowl and a skin of wine. Cleonis ah my dears what a noble big bowl what fun it will be to empty it. Lysistra to set the bowl down on the ground and lay your hands on the victim almighty goddess persuasion and thou bowl boon comrade of joy and merriment receive this our sacrifice and be propitious to us poor women. Cleonis, as Lysistra pours the wine into the bowl of oh, the fine red blood how well it flows. Lampito and what a delicious became by caster. Cleonis now my dears let me swear first. If you please. 
Lysistra to know by Aphrodite, unless it has decided by lot but come then Lampito and all of you put your hands to the bowl and do you Cleanus repeat for all the rest the solemn terms I am going to recite then you must all swear and pledge yourselves by the same promises, I will have naught to do, whether with lover or husband. Cleanus faintly I will have naught to do, whether with lover or husband. Lysistra did, albeit he come to me with an erection. Cleonis her voice quavering, albeit he come to me with an erection in despair oh Lysistra that I cannot bear it. Lysistra ignoring this outburst I will live at home and bold. Cleonis I will live at home and bold. Lysistra beautifully dressed and wearing a saffron colored gown. Cleonis beautifully dressed and wearing a saffron colored gown. Lysistra to the end I may inspire my husband with the most ardent longings. Cleonis to the end I may inspire my husband with the most ardent longings. Lysistra never will I give myself voluntarily. Cleonis never will I give myself voluntarily. Lysistra, and if he has me by force. Cleonis, and if he has me by force. Lysistra I will be cold as ice and never stir a limb. Cleonis I will be cold, as ice and never stir a limb. Lysistra I will neither extend my Persian slippers toward the ceiling. Cleonis I will neither extend my Persian slippers toward the ceiling. Lysistra nor will I crouch like the carven lions on a knife handle. Cleonis nor will I crouch like the carven lions on a knife handle. Lysistra, and if I keep my oath may I be suffered to drink of this wine. Cleonis more courageously, and if I keep my oath may I be suffered to drink of this wine. Lysistra, but if I break it let my bowl be filled with water. Cleonis, but if I break it let my bowl be filled with water. Lysistra, will you all take this oath all we do? Lysistra then I help help now consume this remnant she drinks. Cleonis reaching for the cup enough enough my dear now let us all drink in turn to cement our friendship they pass the cup around and all drink a great commotion is heard off stage. Lampito listen what do those cries mean? Lysistra did ask what I was telling you the women have just occupied the Acropolis so now Lampito you return to Sparta to organize the plot, while your comrades here remain, as hostages for ourselves let us go and join the rest in the citadel and let us push the bolts well home. Cleonis but don't you think the men will march up against us? Lysistra I laugh at them neither threats nor flames shall force our doors they shall open only on the conditions I have named. Cleonis yes yes by Aphrodite otherwise we should be called cowardly and wretched women she follows Lysistra out. The scene shifts to the entrance of the Acropolis the chorus of old men slowly enters carrying faggots and pots of fire. Leader of chorus of old men, go easy draces, go easy, why your shoulder is all chafed by these damned heavy olive stocks but forward still forward man, as needs must. First semi-chorus of old men singing what and looked for things to happen to be sure in a long life Ostromodorus who would ever have thought it here we have the women who used for our misfortune to eat our bread and live in our houses daring nowadays to lay hands on the holy image of the goddess to seize the Acropolis and draw bars and bolts to keep any from entering. Leader of chorus of old men, come Philurgus man let us hurry there let us lay our faggots all about the citadel and on the blazing pile burn with our hands these vile conspiratresses one and all and lick an ass wife first and foremost. Second semi-chorus of old men singing may my Demeter never will I let them laugh at me whilst I have a breath left in my body Cleomenes himself the first who ever seized our citadel had to quit it to his sword is Han or spite his Lacedaemonian pride he had to deliver me up his arms and slink off with a single garment to his back my word but he was filthy and ragged and what an unkempt beard to be sure he had not had a bath for six long years. 
leader of course of old men oh but that was a mighty sage our men were ranged seventeen deep before the gate and never left their posts even to sleep these women these enemies of Euripides and all the gods shall I do nothing to hinder their inordinate insolence else let them tear down my trophies of marathon First semi-chorus of old men singing but look to finish this toilsome climb only this last steep pit is left to mount truly it has no easy job without beasts of burden and how these logs do bruise my shoulder still let us carry on and blow up our fire and see it does not go out. Just as we reach our destination few few blowing the fire oh dear what a dreadful smoke. Second semi-chorus of old men singing it bites my eyes like a mad dog it is let me in fire for sure or it would never devour my eyelids like this come on latches let us hurry let us bring succor to the goddess it as now or never few few blowing the fire oh dear what a confounded smoke. Leader of chorus of old men there now there is our fire all bright and burning thank the gods now why not first put down our loads here then take a vine branch light it at the brazier and hurl it at the gate by way of battering ram. If they don't he answer our summons by pulling back the bolts then we set fire to the woodwork and the smoke will choke them ye gods what a smoke thaw is there never a sane in general will help me unload my burden god it shall not call my shoulder any more setting down the wood come brazier. Do your duty make the embers flare that I may kindle a brand I want to be the first to hurl one a me heavenly victory. Let us punish for their insolent audacity the women who have seized our citadel and may we raise a trophy of triumph for success. They begin to build a fire the chorus of women now enters carrying pots of water. Leader of chorus of women oh my dears methinks I see fire and smoke can it be a conflagration let us hurry all we can. First semi chorus of women singing fly fly nicodus air calice and criddle perish in the fire or are stifled in the smoke raised by these accursed old men and their pitiless laws but great gods can it be I come to a late rising yet dawn I had the utmost trouble to fill this vessel at the fountain oh what a crowd there was and what a din what a rattling of water pots servants and slave girls pushed and thronged me however here I have it full at last and I am running to carry the water to my fellow townswomen who louder foes are plotting to burn alive. Second semi-chorus of women singing news has been brought us that a company of old doddering grey beards loaded with enormous faggots, as if they wanted to heat a furnace have taken the field vomiting dreadful threats crying that they must reduce to ashes these horrible women suffer them not O goddess but of thy grace may I see Athens and Greece cured of their warlike folly tis to this end O thou guardian deity of our city goddess of the golden crest that they have seized thy sanctuary be their friend and ally Athene and if any man hurl Against them lighted firebrands aid us to carry water to extinguish them. Leader of chorus of women, what is this I see ye wretched old men honest and pious folk ye cannot be who act so vilely. Leader of chorus of old men, aha here is something new as warm up women stand posted outside to defend the gates. Leader of chorus of women far that us would you we seem a mighty host yet you do not see the ten thousandth part of our sex. Leader of chorus of old men Hophedrius shall we stop their cackle suppose one of us were to break a stick across their backs a. Eh? Leader of chorus of women let us set down our water pots on the ground to be out of the way if they should dare to offer us violence. Leader of chorus of old men, let someone knock out two or three teeth for them, as they did to Bupolis they won't he talk so loud then. Leader of chorus of women, come on then I wait you with flinching foot and no other bitch will ever grab your balls. Leader of chorus of old men, silence or my stick will cut short your days. Leader of chorus of women, now just you dare to touch Stratilus with the tip of your finger.
leader of chorus of old men, and if I batter you to pieces with my fists what will you do? Leader of chorus of women I will tear out your lungs and entrails with my teeth. Leader of chorus of old men oh what a clever poet is Euripides how well he says that woman is the most shameless of animals. Leader of chorus of women let us pick up our water jars again right up. Leader of chorus of old men you damned women what do you mean to do here with your water? Leader of chorus of women and you old death and life with your fire is it to cremate yourself? Leader of chorus of old men I am going to build you a pyre to roast your female friends upon. Leader of chorus of women and I, I am going to put out your fire. Leader of chorus of old men you put out my fire you. Leader of chorus of women yes you shall soon see. Leader of chorus of old men I don't know what prevents me from roasting you with this torch. Leader of chorus of women I am getting you a bath ready to clean off the filth. Leader of chorus of old men a bath for me you dirty slut. Leader of chorus of women yes indeed a nuptial bath to heal. Leader of chorus of old men turning to his followers do you hear that what insolence. Leader of chorus of women I am a free woman I tell you. Leader of chorus of old men I will make you hold your tongue never fear. Leader of chorus of women ah ha you shall never sit any more amongst the Heliists. Leader of chorus of old men to his torch burn off her hair for her. Leader of chorus of women to her pot Achilles do your duty. The women pitch the water in their water pots over the old men. Leader of chorus of old men oh dear oh dear oh dear. Leader of chorus of women was it hot. Leader of chorus of old men hot great gods enough enough. Leader of chorus of women I am watering you to make you bloom afresh. Leader of chorus of old men alas I am to dry on me how, how I am trembling with cold a magistrate enters with a few Scythian policemen. Magistrate these women have they made in enough I wonder with their tambourines be wept adonis enough upon their terraces I was listening to the speeches last assembly day and Demostratus whom heaven confound was saying we must all go over to Sicily and lo his wife was dancing round repeating alas alas adonis woe is me. For Adonis Demostratus was saying we must levy hoplites at Zacynthus and there was his wife more than half drunk screaming on the house sweep week for Adonis, while that infamous Maddox was bellowing away. On his side, do you not blush you women for your wild and uproarious doings? Leader of chorus of old men, but you don't he know all their effrontery yet they abused and insulted us then soused us with the water in their water pots and have set us wringing out our clothes for all the world, as if we had be pissed ourselves. Magistrate and well done too, by Poseidon we men must share the blame of their ill conduct it is we who teach them to love right and dissoluteness and sow the seeds of wickedness in their hearts you see a husband go into a shop look you jeweler says he you remember the necklace you made for my wife well the other evening when she was dancing the catch came open now I am bound to start. For Salamis will you make it convenient to go up tonight to make her fastening secure another will go to the cobbler a great strong fellow. With a great long tool and tell him the strap of one of my wife's sandals presses her a little toe which is extremely sensitive come in about midday to supple the thing and stretch it now see the results take my own case as a magistrate I have enlisted rowers I want money to pay them and the women slam the door in my face but why do we stand here with arms crossed bring me a crowbar I l l chastise their insolence. Go there my fine fellow to one of the Scythians, what are you gaping at the crows for looking for a tavern? I suppose they come on bring crowbars here and force open the gates I will put a hand to the work myself. Lysistrata opening the gate and walking out no need to force the gates I am coming out here I am and why bolts and bars what we want here is not bolts and bars and locks but common sense.
Magistrate jumping nervously then striving manfully to regain his dignity really my fine lady where is my officer I want him to tie that woman ass hands behind her back. Lysistra my Artemis the virgin goddess, if he touches me with the tip of his finger officer of the public peace, though he be let him look out for himself the first Scythian defecates in terror. Magistrate to another officer, how now are you afraid sees her I tell you round the body to of you at her and have done with it. Cleonis by Pandrasus, if you lay a hand on her he'll trample you underfoot till the crap comes out of you the second Scythian defecates in terror. Magistrate look at the mess you've made where is there another officer to the third Scythian mind that makes first the one who speaks so prettily. Near be my Phoebe, if you touch her with one finger you d better call quick for a surge and the third Scythian defecates in terror. Magistrate what ass that where is the officer to the fourth Scythian lay hold of her oh but I am going to stop your foolishness, for you all. Cleonis by the Tauric Artemis, if you go near her I l l pull out your hair scream, as you like the fourth Scythian defecates in terror. Magistrate a miserable man that I and my own officers desert me what go are we to let ourselves be bested by a mob of women who Scythians mine close up your ranks and forward. Lysistra by the holy goddesses you l l have to make acquaintance with four companies of women ready for the fray and well armed to boot. Magistrate forward Scythians and bind them the Scythians advance reluctantly. Lysistra forward my gallant companions march forth ye vendors of grain and eggs garlic and vegetables keepers of taverns and bakeries wrench and strike and tear come a torrent of invective and insult they beat the Scythians who retire in haste enough enough now retire never rob the vanquished the women withdraw. Magistrate how unfortunate for my officers. Lysistra got hot so you thought you had only to do with a set of slave women you did not know the ardor that fills the bosom of freeborn dames. Magistrate ardor yes, by Apollo ardor enough especially for the wine cup. Leader of chorus of old men, sir sir what good are words they are of no avail with wild beasts of this sort don't he you know, how they have just washed us down and with no very fragrant soap. Leader of chorus of women what would you have you should never have laid rash hands on us, if you start afresh I l l knock your eyes out my delight is to stay at home as coy as a young maid without hurting anybody or moving any more than a milestone but where the wasps, if you go stirring up the wasps nest. Chorus of old men singing ah great gods how get the better of these ferocious creatures tis past all bearing but come let us try to find out the reason of the dreadful scourge with one and in view have they seized the citadel of Kranos the sacred shrine that is raised upon the inaccessible rock of the Acropolis. Leader of chorus of old men to the magistrate question them be cautious and not too credulous it would be culpable negligence not to pierce the mystery, if we may. Magistrate addressing the women I would ask you first, why you have barred our gates. Lysistra to seize the treasury no more money no more war. Magistrate then money is the cause of the war. Lysistra and of all our troubles it was to find occasion to steal that Pissander and all the other agitators were forever raising revolutions well and good but they l l never get another drachma here. Magistrate what do you propose to do then pray? Lysistra you ask me that, why we propose to administer the treasury ourselves. Magistrate you do. Lysistra de what is there in that to surprise you do we not administer the budget of household expenses? Magistrate but that is not the same thing. Lysistra de how so not the same thing? Magistrate it is the treasury supplies the expenses of the war. Lysistra de that as our first principle no war. Magistrate what and the safety of the city? Lysistra de we will provide for that. Magistrate you. Lysistra yes we. 
Magistrate what a sorry business. Lysistrity yes we read going to save you, whether you like it or not. Magistrate oh the impudence of the creatures. Lysistrity you seem annoyed but it has to be done nevertheless. Magistrate but it has the very height of iniquity. Lysistrity testily we read going to save you my good man. Magistrate, but if I don't you want to be saved. Lysistrity why all the more reason. Magistrate but want a notion to concern yourselves with questions of peace and war. Lysistrata we will explain our idea. Magistrate out with it then quick or threatening her. Lysistrata sternly listen and never a movement please. Magistrate in impotent rage oh it is too much for me I cannot keep my temper. Leader of chorus of women then look out for yourself you have more to fear than we have. Magistrate stop your croaking you old crow to Lysistrata now you say what you have to say. Lysistrata willingly all the long time the war has lasted we have endured in modest silence all you men did you never allowed us to open our lips we were far from satisfied, for we knew how things were going often in our homes we would hear you discussing upside down and inside out some important turn of affairs then with sad hearts but smiling lips we would ask you well in today's assembly did they vote peace? But mind your own business the husband would growl hold your tongue please and we would say no more. Cleonis I would not have held my tongue, though not I. Magistrate you would have been reduced to silence by blows then. Lysistrata well for my part I would say no more but presently I would come to know you had arrived at some fresh decision more fatally foolish than ever ah my dear man I would say what madness next but he would only look at me askance and say just weed your web please else your cheeks will smart for hours war is man ass business. Magistrate bravo well said indeed. Lysistrata how now wretched man not to let us contend against your follies was bad enough but presently we heard you asking out loud in the open street is there never a man left in Athens and no not one not one you were assured in reply then then we made up our minds without more delay to make common cause to save Greece open your ears to our wise counsels and hold your tongues and we may yet put things on a better footing. Magistrate you put things indeed oh this is too much the insolence of the creatures. Lysistrate be still. Magistrate may I die a thousand deaths ere I obey one who wears a veil. Lysistrate if that s all that troubles you here take my veil wrap it around your head and hold your tongue. Cleonis then take this basket put on a girdle card wool munch beams the war shall be women ass business. Leader of chorus of women, lay aside your water pots, we will guard them, we will help our friends and companions. Chorus of women, singing for myself, I will never weary of the dance, my knees will never grow stiff with fatigue, I will brave everything with my dear allies, on whom nature has lavished virtue, grace, boldness, cleverness, and whose wisely directed energy is going to save the state. Leader of chorus of women, oh my good gallant Lysistrata and all my friends be ever like a bundle of nettles, never let your anger slacken the winds of fortune blow our way. Lysistrata may gentle love and the sweet Cyprian queen shower seductive charms on our breasts and our thighs, if only we may stir so amorous a feeling among the men that they stand as firm as sticks we shall indeed deserve the name of peacemakers among the Greeks. Magistrate, how will that be pray? Lysistrata to begin with we shall not see you any more running like mad fellows to the market holding lance in fist. Cleonis that will be something gained anyway by the Pathian goddess it will. Lysistrata now we see them mixed up with saucepans and kitchen stuff armed to the teeth looking like wild corridors. Magistrate why of course that ass what brave men should do. Lysistrata oh but what a funny sight to behold a man wearing a gorgon ass buckler coming along to buy fish. 
Cleonis the other day in the market I saw a filler with flowing ringlets he was on horseback and was pouring into his helmet the broth he had just bought at an old dame as still there was a Thracian warrior too who was brandishing his lance like Tereus in the play he had scared a good woman selling figs into a perfect panic and was gobbling up all her ripest fruit. Magistrate and how pray would you propose to restore peace and order in all the countries of Greece? Lysistra did ask the easiest thing in the world. Magistrate come tell us, how I am curious to know. Lysistra did, when we are winding thread and it is tangled we pass the spool across and through the skein now this way, now that way even so to finish of the war we shall send embassies hither and thither and everywhere to disentangle matters. Magistrate and is it with your yarn and your skeins and your spools you think to appease so many bitter enmities you silly women? Lysistra, if only you had common sense you would always do in politics the same, as we do with our yarn. Magistrate, come how is that a... Eh? Lysistra, first we wash the yarn to separate the grease and filth, do the same with all bad citizens, sort them out and drive them forth with rods, they be the refuse of the city then, for all such as come crowding up in search of employments and offices, we must cart them thoroughly then, to bring them all to the same standard, pitch them pell mell into the same basket, resident aliens or no allies, debtors to the state, all mixed up together then. As for our colonies you must think of them, as so many isolated hanks find the ends of the separate threads draw them to a center here wind them into a one make one great hank of the lot out of which the public can weave itself a good stout tunic. Magistrate is it not a sin and a shame to see them carding and winding the state these women who have neither art nor part in the burdens of the war. Lysistra de what wretched man why it has a far heavier burden to us than to you in the first place we bear sons who go off to fight far away from Athens. Magistrate enough said do not recall sad and sorry memories. Lysistra then secondly instead of enjoying the pleasures of love and making the best of our youth and beauty we are left to languish far from our husbands who are all with the army but say no more of ourselves what afflicts me is to see our girls growing old in lonely grief. Magistrate Dante the men grow old too. Lysistra that is not the same thing when the soldier returns from the wars. Even though he has white hair he very soon finds a young wife but a woman has only one summer. If she does not make hay, while the sun shines no one will afterwards have anything to say to her and she spends her days consulting oracles that never send her a husband. Magistrate but the old man who can still get an erection. Lysistra but you, why don't he you get done with it and die you are rich go buy yourself a beer and I will need you a honey cake for Cerberus here take this garland drenching him with water. Cleonis and this one to drenching him with water. Nerheen and these billets drenching him with water. Lysistra de what else do you need step aboard the boat Karen is waiting for you you re keeping him from pushing off. Magistrate to treat me so scurvily, what an insult I will go show myself to my fellow magistrates, just as I am. Lysistra de what are you blaming us for not having exposed you according to custom may console yourself we will not fail to offer up the third day sacrifice. For you first thing in the morning she goes into the Acropolis with Cleonis and Nerheen. End of part I.